Master Chow Chin Chow, Slanter Joe here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Sky Twilight Trial Run. In the last episode, we went to Primrose HQ and stopped Team Voltage. They had a Mega Zapdos. It was scary as hell. They also had a Mega Electivire too, and that was kind of that was kind of cool. I want the Mega. I would love to have the Mega Electivire. That would be really cool to have on. The team. But anyway, let's get on with today's episode. But before we do, let's have a, take a look at the team preview for this episode. So first off, we start with Madkips. I've gave Madkips the Mega Stone in today's episode because the fact is Mega Swampert's in this game. So I kind of want to show them off. So I'm going to do that. So this is our impish natured Madkips. Uh, what you have is an ability of torrent for the ability. You have surf, ice beam, tackle, and mud bomb. I really wish I could give you like earthquake and stuff like that, but you, you, I don't know where to get it from just yet. But we'll see anyway. Then we have Shrooms the Breloom, impish nature, holding experience share because he's level 33 and he needs to be leveled up. Uh, poison heal for the ability. Sky uppercut, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Seed, uh, Leech Seed. And then we have Deadly, our sassy-natured Salazzle uh, with no special ability because it's uh, the actual special ability for Salazzle is not programmed into this game. But that's okay. It has Flame Burst, Toxic Sludge Bomb, and Nasty Plot. Then we have Dino Dan, our Pupitar, level 34, rock and ground typing, careful nature, with the Shed Skin ability, and of course has Iron Head, Rock Slide, Dark Pulse, and Thrash. Then we have Knight, our Heracross, serious nature with the Guts ability, uh, Bug Bite, Brick Break, Strength, and Aerial Ace on its moveset. And then we have Magic, our Dragonair Impish Nature with Shed Skin for the ability, Shockwave, Dragon Rage, Slam and Dragon Tail on the moveset. That is the team. Rather quickly, let's get started. Hey Google, set a timer for half an hour. And there we go. Oh, that's what I'm trying to do in my episodes from now on because I want to try and stick to a time limit. I'm kind of annoyed at the fact I have so many 45 minute episodes and I'm, I'm not keeping to my own time limits. I should be keeping to my time limits. So hopefully today we're going to head on towards our um, the final gym. That is the plan to head on towards the final gym and basically uh, get things done. I really want to head on towards that final gym and get this series done with eventually. I do like this series. Oh, there's the Lucky Egg. Cool. I mean, it's a bit late, but I mean, I'll take it because we're going to need to do some grinding for Elite Four. So I'll take it now. Oh, there's Pancham. That's cool. I mean, I think we're probably going to go into the Elite Four, maybe like 40, 45. I don't know. Uh, I don't know the official, like, levels I need to go into the Elite Four as, but I feel like maybe 40 might be enough. I'm going to... Do I need to surf? East Route 22, West Elder City. So, yes, I do need to surf. Okay. So, this week, uh, let's talk about things whilst we are kindly relaxed of uh, surfing through the routes. Uh, we released a new series onto the channel. Pokemon Insurgents is now on the channel, and I am very, very happy to have Pokemon Insurgents back on the channel. It's good to have Insurgents back, and I'm really enjoying it. We've also got Prism back on the channel. Uh, Prism's doing well. We started the Prism series. I think you guys are enjoying the Prism series. Sorry if, uh, for the lack of intro moments on uh, Episode 4. It's because, basically, I kind of got annoyed with the game at the time and didn't really want to think about putting up an up intro moment for that video. But I'm fine now. Uh, so I probably would, uh, you know, go back, re-record that episode if I wanted to, and put up an intro moment. But um, for the moment in time, I think I'm just going to leave it. And I'll, there'll be an intro moment for the next episode. That I promise you. Gyarados. I mean... All right. Do I show it off here? 
I'm going to tackle. Because I won't really do too much damage to this thing, so I'll show it off here. It's not the best... Uh, it's not the best sprite. I mean, I prefer Mega Heracross' sprite from the back sprites here. But it does work. I mean, I will admit, it does work. It just, it just doesn't look the best. It just doesn't... It does not look good. But when it comes to, like, Mega Sprites, it looks like they have virtually taken it. Uh, and... They gave it a little bit of a... And, like, like, cut it off halfway through. It just doesn't work with my kips here. But... It's a nice try, you got to admit, it's a nice try. I want to try out some of their new Megas, so that's a thing. I really haven't found any of the new Pokemon. Let me show you this in full Sprite. Yeah, so there we go, that is full Sprite of uh, our Mega Swampert. And there, there it is again, so in its little Sprite thing. So that pretty much works that way. That's the way I would like to show it you. What's coming in now? Kingdra. Well, this is interesting that I've decided to go into you, isn't it? I'm not sure what I was thinking here, but it might work. It might work, honestly, I don't know. I mean, you can't really do too much damage to me, but I wasn't thinking straight. I could have gone into Dragonair, which probably would have been the better option. Maybe. I don't know. But um, we also, you know, have the... Uh, a series with chips going on. I, I kind of feel like I'm doing too many series at the same time. I kind of feel like I'm doing too many series with the fact that, you know, we got Insurgents, we got the Trial Run, we got Prism, we got the Yes Lock, we got the Cage Lock. It's just, I feel like it's too much and you guys can't keep up. But like, I don't know. Can you, that is a question, that is a question for you guys. Serious question here. Can you guys, it, am I producing too much content for you guys? Is there too many series? Do you struggle to keep up? That is a serious question. I mean, I try and comp I try and compensate for everything because the fact is, like, if you want an RPG Maker game, I have that now. I have Insurgents, which I like, and I definitely am excited to see more Insurgents uh, to have more Insurgents on the channel. So if you like ROM hacks, well, we have this, and if you can like Gen 2, then you'll like Prism version. It's also a good ROM hack. So if you're a ROM hack person, which I love ROM hacks, by the way, I am a huge ROM, ROM hack fan. So if you're a ROM hack, fan, uh, ROM hack fan like me, then you'll love the fact that we have so many ROM hacks on the channel. And that's cool that we have so many of these ROM hacks on the channel. I like doing... I like having these ROM caps here. I'm actually a really big fan of having all the ROM hacks on this channel. I've got many more that are part of the... Um, that I would like to do in the future as part of the trial run. And I have other ideas for the trial run videos too. For example, I know the Game Jam is a thing. And there are games starting to be produced for the Relic Castles Game Jam. I actually have one of them. It's called Pokemon Daycare, and basically the premise of this game is that you are a Pokemon Daycare attendant. You are a breeder, and you run your own daycare, you play with the Pokemon, you take Pokemon in, you play with them, you help level them up, and also eggs appear in the game, and you can just put them up for adoption, which is really cool. I think that's basically all the game is. But if you want to see a demo of that game, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below because I will, I will make a video of that of that game. I'm probably only going to make one though because the fact is, well, there's not very much to the game, unlike an actual Pokemon game where I can actually make more to these games. Like, for example, Bonfire Stories, which was one of my favourite um, uh, trial run uh, trial run run hacks that came out of the a game jam uh this doesn't daycare doesn't really have too much that i can actually make content out of uh, <laughs> i don't want to kill my mascot uh, i always cry when i have to kill my mascot i'm sorry lantern it was not meant to be this way It's not meant to be this way. Why do I have to kill my mascot? I don't want to. 
I don't want to hurt my mascot, it's just too good. Lantern is just too good. I love Lantern so much that I don't want to hurt it. You know? That's basically what I am. I don't want to hurt my mascot. And yet the game makes me hurt my mascot. Expert Griffin has a Marowak. Oh! It's a Lolan Marowak. Oh. That's a... That's a big oops. That's a big oops. That is not... Oh, come on. You have Boomerang. Is that just so you... Just in case that you get switched into on a ground type? You know, people say, here's a gra uh, Here's a lower Marowak. Fire and Ghost. Here's a... Here's something that can deal with you. Oh, no, I have a ground type move now. Well, I guess he can still... He still has a bone. So, Bone Meringue, Bone Club, all those bone type moves that he has should probably still be given to him because he still has a bone. Don't hit me with water. Don't hit me with water. That does a lot of damage. It's not going to kill, but like it does a lot of damage. And if you're stupid enough to not hit me with water, which I told you not to hit me with water, you're abiding by what I say, and you're going to go down. And Shrooms goes to level 35. Nice. When Shrooms gets to level 36 or 37, I might just like give the experience share to someone else at that point. Because I kind of... That's basically what the plan is, to make sure that everyone has... Everyone is at the same level, but, like, it, I, I haven't been that way in ages, so I don't know. I mean, I paid too much attention to people like um, Madkips, and basically, well, that's what happened. Okay, why can I go there? I have no idea why I can go there. There's an item back there, but I can't get to it just yet. Maybe if we go further on, I can get to it. Why do you have a tentacle? I can't kill a tentacle with... No, can't kill a tentacle here. Uh, magic, can you kill said tentacle? I know tentacles are beefy, but like it might be able to um, do some serious damage with a shockwave here. It might be able to do some serious damage. I don't know. That does nothing! I mean, this is a Dragon Rage. Does that do more? Actually, that does. I mean, it's guaranteed to do 40 HP no matter what. That's what Dragon Rage is. But it does way... It looks like it does way more, so... That probably should be my play when I'm coming into Magic. Basically, Dragon Rage should be my play. Oh wait, hang on, you're... But this is a bad matchup here because uh, you have things that deal with me being ice type moves and I don't really have a solution for you because if I go into uh, other things, it's going to hurt me too. So it's not best. It's just not best right now. But if Shockwave does enough damage, maybe I can... Maybe I can do Dragon Rage now? Oh, that does not kill. I was thinking that might kill. But apparently he still has more than 40 HP. It's okay. It's okay. Shockwave never misses. And he's dead. There we go. Okay, it's okay. This is not a Nuzlocke, so I can play this game for, uh, well. And I think, you know, to tell you the truth, I would definitely not mind doing a Nuzlocke of this game. It's not a horrible game to Nuzlocke, and there's not a lot to it. So, it's kind of linear in a way. You're not grinding an awful lot. So, it's definitely worth uh, Nuzlocking. I definitely consider it if it's... 
if you're trying to look for a game to basically start your Nuzlocking adventures, I would probably say this. Sky Twilight is a very good game that could start your Nuzlocking adventures. It's not a hard game to play, and there's not a lot to it, so it's not really a challenge, really. It's like Leaf Green, in a way. I'd suggest, like, Fire Red Leaf Green are probably brilliant first Nuzlocke games. If you are looking for the... If you are looking for a game to be the first your Nuz, to start your Nuzlocke adventures, I would probably say Fire... And it has to be a main series game. I would probably say Fire Red Leaf Green. Yeah, I'd probably say Fire Red Leaf Green is that game that should start you off, if anything. It's really good. Kanto is amazing. I love Kanto, and Kanto is really cool, and there's a, you get a lot of Pokemon from Kanto, so it just works. If you want to randomize it, you can do, but like I don't really feel like you need to. You have a decent amount of Pokemon in the decks, so you shouldn't really need to randomize. Where am I going, anyway? I, like, literally want to explore. There's... Oh, there's Route, route 23 is down here. I uh, don't know what this is, route is all about, really. I mean, can I look at the map to see where I'm going here? map. Okay, so I'm... Apparently, it doesn't know where I am. This is Route 23, and it leads down to... Uh, to here. Okay. Then we're basically uh, going to um, go down here, then. To, to this city. Maybe this is where the final gym is? Or maybe it's on the island? I don't know. I want to look. I'm exploring. Let I should have sky uppercut it. I really should have sky uppercut it. That did nothing. It poisoned. But it did nothing other than that. Is poison going to do a lot of damage? Is poison going to do some damage to you? I mean, I'm pelted by hail, but like... Does poison do more? I think poison does more. This is what I meant to do. Because this should do a lot of damage to you being ice type. Oh yeah, it kills. That's what I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see it kill. You're a trainer. Um... I think what I'm going to try and do is make it to the city today. I don't know whether that's where I need to go, but I'm going to make it to the city today. That is the plan. Make it to the city. And get some decent experience on shrooms. That is the plan. Because shrooms needs that decent experience. Mud sport. <laughs> like, why? Why are you using mud sport? I don't understand. I just don't. There's no way you can make me understand either. I just don't understand why you'd go for mud sport. In that situation, Huntail. I can land I can handle a Huntail. Uh Sky Uppercut. Because you're a dark type. So this should do a lot of that. Yeah, that does. A lot of damage, but don't pass into the Gyarados! Oh, I can't do anything to you. Um, let me just nope on out of here. Oh, why do I have to have 39 HP? Damn it, magic! Well, that happened, ladies and gentlemen. Um... Can you deal with this knight? Give him a strength. That does about half. Ice fangs to do about nothing to me? Yeah, that does nothing. 
And that kills. Nice. And a we'll finish off the Hunter L now with another strength. And that should be the end of this battle. Nice. It's a shame I had to come onto these little islands to face these guys, really. Just wish I could actually face them without having to come onto these little islands. I'm not going to answer that question. I'm literally not going to answer that question. Sorry, Dorothy. I will not answer your question of why men like bathing suits so much. I just don't think it's right for my PG channel to answer that question. Or at least trying to be more PG channel. You know. <laughs> I'm trying to be more PG. I'm failing miserably. But Oh, you a date? Wait, are you fairy type in this game? Are you fairy type? Is Gorobis water fairy? Does that look stab? I mean, it would make sense. I mean, I don't understand why Gorobis is just pure water type. It should be water fairy. It should be water fairy, especially since, uh, you know, Hunter is water dark. So this should be water fairy. I know the water, I know the fairy type wasn't invented in, you know, sit. Uh, in uh, third gen and I am very much aware of that but you know times have changed a lot a bunch of Pokemon got retyped when the water type uh, when the fairy type was invented so I was thinking that more Pokemon would have got said typing because a bunch of Pokemon were retyped like look at the Zumarill Look at Azumarill. Azumarill is water and uh, fairy now. It was water and or normal, but now it's water and or fairy. And everyone loves Azumarill for that reason. Now oh, that does nothing. Poisons, but does nothing. I mean, I'll take the poison, but I really wish it had done some more damage than that. Oh, I'm confused. This is going to get annoying. Can I actually even hit the Giga Drain here? Shrooms. Thank you, Shrooms. I was a little worried you weren't going to hit that Giga Drain. Does some damage? Not a lot. I mean, I'm already confused, so you can't hit me with confusion again. But can I... Can I get the... Can I get the Sludge Bomb off? But I don't think I'm... I want to save PP. I need you with a sludge bomb instead of hitting you with other moves right now. There's level 37. And you're trying to learn Mind Reader? No. I mean, it does guarantee a hit, which is great, but I don't really feel like it's necessary to uh, use and guarantee a hit. I'm going to try Dino Dan on this uh, Stormy here. I know Dino Dan's in a bit of a situation here, but it uh, I've proved already that Stormy is not what we call smart. Yeah, Stormy is not what we call smart, ladies and gentlemen. He could use a water type move on me. If maybe he doesn't even have a water type move. Come on, Dino Dan. Just hit the dark pulse and we can all go home. There we go. Nice. And there we go. Nico is defeated. Can I make it to the city now? Ah, we're in the city. Is there a port so I can actually get up onto the... Uh... Oh, there it is. And... There is a port. And there's the final... I saw the final gym, too. So, in the next episode, if that's what we'll be doing, we'll be taking on the final gym, but... Let's adventure around this place, too. 
Nice that the tra uh, that these people say thank you to me. I heard from the local news that you defeated Team Voltage. Is that true? Awesome! Thank you! Everyone's so nice to me here in this city. Shepard and I play hide and seek, but my Shepard is sure a good hider. I don't, can't see it anywhere. Yeah, I also cannot see uh, your Shepard anywhere. Yeah, definitely cannot see your Shepard anywhere, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna find. I'm not gonna try and find your shop it for you, mate. A hero does. A hero like you deserves gratitude. I just know that you would be the ones that stop the team voltage. Those morons. Yes, they are morons. Hello. Hey. Do you know a girl named Kylie? Yeah, we used to go to school together. Uh, before we both graduated. She was something, you know. Okay. There's a museum here. Did you go swim from Route 23? Bet you had a good swim while she came down here. Eh, no, I surfed on my Pokemon. Because it's only really swimmers that actually swim. Hello. Hey. Do you know a girl named Kylie? Yeah, we used to go to school together before we both graduated. She was really something, you know? Who's this Kylie that everyone keeps on talking about? I have no idea, but everyone kind of uh, says she was something. Ah, ah, ah! Y are you? Are you? Please take it! I got the old amber. The old amber contains the genetics of an ancient Pokemon. Uh, it's clear to a tiny radish tint. Uh, reddish tint. Please take care of, you, care of it. Hey kid, do you know? Uh, I bet you want to do. So I bet you want something special, don't you? Well, if you win, I'll give you this. Oh, you're one of the mega trainers. Okay. Zachary has a sharpedo, and it is mega sharpedo. Sky uppercut. A scary face is going to do nothing to me, but Sky Uppercut is going to do everything to you. I don't mind losing a bit of speed. Oh, come on. Okay, maybe I should have got it. Maybe I should have got Mind Reader. <laughs> come on. Hit him. Hit him. Maybe I should have got Mind Reader. Because I've missed twice with Sky Uppercut now. Third time of asking, ladies and gentlemen. Destroys the uh, Mega Sharpedo. Do I get Waterfall from you? HMO7, that is Waterfall. That is cool. I will take Waterfall for, for sure. I will definitely take Waterfall. Ooh, Tobias is here. Why is Tobias here? I mean, I'm going to go and uh, heal up and I'm going to go and talk to him. I think in the next episode, we'll take on the gym, but we'll also go and adventure around the island. Like, that's up top, because we haven't ventured around there yet, but... Let's do this battle first. Let's do this. Actually, we need to sign. Alright. Hey, Joe! Uh, who would have thought that my own best friend would be the hero of Chrono... Uh, Chronos? Everyone's t everyone is talking about you. I'm glad we st uh, that we stopped the. Uh, I'm glad you're the one that stopped the leader of Team Voltage at back at Primrose HQ. You deserve it more than I do. I even just tried to defeat this gym and I lost. Since then, I've been thinking to myself. I think I want to become a Pokemon Ranger. Thanks, Joe. But can we have a, a battle for the one last time, please? Just let me he heal your my Pokemon. Okay, let's do this. All right, let's do this. I know the time is about to go, but I think we've got time for this. You start with Staraptor. Uh, Shrooms, this is not a good battle for you. Just want to point out that it's not a good battle for you. Dino Dan, can you deal with this? I mean, he might have close combat. 
but I prefer if he didn't. I prefer if he didn't have close combat. But I'm going to try for the rock slide. Oh, come on. That's the close combat. I was thinking he was going to have the close combat. Sorry, Dino Dan. Magic, would you mind coming out here and dealing with this with Shockwave then? Come on, I don't want to go into um, my ice beaming mega swampert right now. That's why I'm doing it. That's why I'm trying to do all these special gimmicky things of going into other Pokemon. Because I know that Shockwave doesn't miss. Oh, he's smart. The Brava comes in. EQ. Not as smart, then. Because I actually have a Dragon-type move. Well, that's brought out this. I'm not sure why I want to bring out this. Yeah, that's me dead. Um, not sure what to do here. I'm going to go to Knight. Uh, I can't Brick Break. I can Aerial Ace. That should do some damage. Yeah, that did, that did damage. That did about half. And Poisoned. But I can take the 6 damage. And there goes the Gengar. Because Gengar's not what we call defensive. Zoroark. I can stay in on the Zoroark. I've got Brick Break. Ooh, it's Mega Zoroark. I mean, I kind of want to go for the Bug Bite in that. Oh my god, you got Flamethrower. I mean, if you don't kill here, I'm dead. I'm probably dead anyway. But at least I got level 37 out of this. And I'm trying to learn Pursuit. I don't want Pursuit. I'm going to die to Poison, aren't I? Oh, I get to switch. I get to switch. I get to switch. And I'm going to take the opportunity to. Hey, Google, stop. Okay, so I'm going to finish this episode off as soon as we're done here. I don't want to... I don't want to Mega Evolve right now, but I'm going to ha I might have to think about it. Or not. That'll do nicely. I really hate your cry, because <laughs> it sounds really annoying. Magmortar coming in. I can handle a Magmortar. With Surf. That should probably do enough damage to kill. Oh, it doesn't kill. It does not kill. Oh, you're trying Solar Beam. Yeah, let me just say nope to the trial of Solar Beam. Surf is 100% accurate, and you're not getting uh, your Solar Beam off in any way, shape, or form. It's just not happening, mate. It's just not happening. Um, I think my best option is to stay in here against this looks right. And go for the... Um, uh, mud bomb. And to do more damage and probably to ensure the kill, I'm gonna mega I'm gonna mega here. Oh or not. Apparently I'm gonna miss. And this will probably not kill now because you put up the light screen. Yeah, it doesn't do anything now. And now it's a f solid free hit kill now you put the light screen up, which is annoying, but I'm going to kill you anyway. Yeah, that Iron Tail does nothing to me. I'll finish you off with Surf. There we go. Look straight down. Level 38. 
Am I other, can I learn Earth? No, Bravo is the final Pokemon. I have not. Uh, I'm good. You know what? I'm just going to Ice Beam. I'm just going to Ice Beam. Yeah, I'm just going to Ice Beam and hope that's enough to kill. There it is. Nice. That was a good battle, Joe. What kind of strength you should... Uh, with that kind of strength, you should be able to beat the Pokemon League. I know you're capable of it, Joe. Well, I'll see you in a, a day, Joe. It was fun whilst it lasted, you know. Well, that was kind of fun, yeah. I mean, I will give you that. It was kind of fun. What's this? Okay, so... Pinipol. Um, there's no Clyde, so I have no idea what the type of this gym is. Either way, we'll face it in the next episode of our Pokemon Sky Twilight Let's uh, Play Trial Run Edition kind of thing. Anyway, if you enjoyed, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. In the next episode, we will take on the final gym of this game. We'll also go and go and look at the island, uh, which is... Here, we're going to look at this Kamalis Island as well. Uh, go and see what's around there. And then we'll guess we'll head on towards Victory Cannon and the Pokemon League in the episode after that. And then we'll challenge the Pokemon League after that. So maybe three, four episodes left of this series? I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, till next time, I'm Lantern and Joe. Me to let Pokemon get to us. Uh, everybody get Pokemon. Good night. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And of course, you can ring the bell and you'll be notified first when new videos come out. You can follow me on Twitter at Lantern Joe and you'll be able to get news about the channel, new videos, and so much more as well. And if you want to watch some more videos, there should be some in the top right and top left hand corner of this video. But until next time, for me, Joe, and from Lantern as well, we'll see you again.